it's close tonight to um, have the Rashiva of uh, Chabot Chaim here and Rabbi Grumblat and um, Katal the Bachram, the Shiva also, the come to have you here as well. And um, thank you very much the, for making time to come to Tazik Dolom. And the big schuss, we don't get it very often, it's an opportunity to hear a shir from one of the other Shashivas, and um, especially one that you see in the community and that we we're all, we all have the opportunity sometimes to see on different occasions, but to hear a shir is a very unique, special opportunity. So thank you very much for making time for Shiva, and uh, let's see if we have a shir from the Shiva. Thank you, it's a pleasure to be here. My home away from home. But I do have to tell you, what's so much of getting here? We had trouble with the flights, with all has struck a presence. Somebody got fouled up with the tickets, and there was one flight that had seats. It was a 12 o'clock flight. I said, I can't leave a talk. I have sure and Shiva. The flight was delayed to 3.45. So everybody else on the flight was grumbling. I was happy. It worked out. It was just right. So... <coughs> So the Gemara in Blavah Basha, Daflamad Alpha Madala, brings down a case. Zel, Omar, I have a relatively short time frame to fit it in, so I'm going to not do too much reading inside, but uh, hopefully uh, we'll still get the flow, get the drift. So the Gemara says, Zelma Shalavosi, Zelma Shalavosi. Two people are arguing about a piece of property, and each one says that it belonged to their fathers. The simple implication was that they inherited it from their fathers. Hi, Icy Sadi Davasihi. One of them brought witnesses that indeed did belong to his father. Let's say Ruvain brought witnesses that it belonged to his father. The Hi, Icy Sadi Dafushne Chazaka. And Shimon brought witnesses that he ate the years of a Chazaka. So the halach of a Chazaka, of course, is that if a person lives on a field and uses the field in a normal way for three years and the previous owner does not complain, so then he has a Chazaka, it's considered to be a proof that it's his. So, Omar Rabbah, Rabbah said, Malo l'shaker. Why should he lie? If he would have said, yes, it belonged to your father, but I bought it from him, he would have won. Because he had the years of Chazaka. Chazaka reinforces his time that, that, uh, way that he said he bought it is true. After three years, people lose their star, and it's considered a right, and it's his. So he's contradicting the witnesses, though. He's not saying that he bought it. He's saying, Shalavosai, the Migri wins. Amalei Abaya, Abaya says, Mali le Shaker b'mokamedim lo amrina. You don't say Amigri against Aden. So, Hadar Amalei, so this appears to have been an actual case, and the guy came back and said, In davosaf hi v'zavantim inoch, and I bought it from you. The hide or from him, depending on the gear. So the hide demli davas is the summa chalik davasi. He was being poetic. It's a, it's a, it was as if it was my father's. I'm so sure that it's mine. So tolin bechazer b'tolin or ain't tolin bechazer. As he believed with this follow up. So ul amar tolin bechazer b'tolin. Nardai amar ain't a chazer b'tolin. Ain't a tolin bechazer b'tolin. Just skipping a little bit further. Modin Nardoi, a few lines down, Modin Nardoi, Hecha the Amrle, that although Nardoi do not accept this excuse, uh, uh, this poetic expression, some of Gedavase, but they do agree, Hecha the Amrle shall avosi, shall akhumu me avosecha, he says it belonged to my father who bought it from your father, the Choser Vitan. That is much more reasonable, it fits into it's my father's, yeah. Your father, Taka, used to be there, and that's why the Adam who said it belonged to your father are accurate. But after that point in time, my father bought it from your father. My statement is also accurate. I inherited it from my father. So exactly what the Machlokas is, let's first start with the, a little bit, uh, we'll skip the Rashbam. We'll go straight to Tosis. It says, Malu Shaker. There's many complications to this Rashbam, by the way. If we started the Rashbam, we wouldn't, we wouldn't get out alive. This is Mali the Shaker of Melukah made them law Amrina. Tame of the Rajba. Amai having Vimokah made him. Why is this a Migah Vimokah made him? Name a Shalavosa Hase Yom Echad. 
let's say it belonged to his father, Shimon's father, for one day, and he bought it from the other guy's father. The Taninan Liyoresh. We tied it for a Yoresh. This, by the way, is a controversy amongst the Rishonim whether you could believe this particular Taino with a Migui. The Tosa Shita is yes. Um, all right, well, in a moment, I'll say, I don't think, I think the outcome could be very similar even if you don't know like Tosis. Also, when it says later that the Nardoi agree, my father bought it from your father, the Chazor Etoin, but I feel lo yitam shalakhu, even if I didn't say my father bought it. El Amr Shadar Bachad Yumi, he lived there for one day, Anan Tanin Ule, because we taina on behalf of a Yoresh, and we taina on behalf of a Lakeach. So if your father was there one day and you inherited it, then you deserve that we should taina on your behalf. Vam Rabbein Yitzchak, the Shalavosay, Mashma Shahaisa Ma'elam Shalavosay. The Lushan Shalavosay has an implication that's long term. It's an ancestral home. Shalom Hosah. Lo shalachu, and not that he bought it. Ad she yifarish b'tavarov. Until he explains his words. And then he goes on to say that the Nardai are really saying the same thing, and the Lashon is a little superfluous. All right. So that is the shita, according to Tosis. Abaya's shita is, shalom Hosah has an implication that it was there for long term. Therefore, to make the claim that you were there for one, my father was there for one day, and he bought it from your father, or will tie on his behalf, he bought it from his father, is, is not a sustainable, not a believable claim. What does Rabba hold? So there's a Ramban that apparently I did not put under Mari Mikomos, that says, to me Ali Milsa Tuva, it's, it's mind-boggling to believe that Miga could beat Aiden. Edim are the ultimate beer. Edim give Misa, Edim are Motsi Mamon. Tosis Shita is that Migu is not Motsi Mamon. How would you possibly have a Shita in the Gemara that says that uh, Rava, granted we don't pass in that way, but how could there even be such a Shita in the Gemara that a Migu could be Edim? And the Ramban goes through a couple of different other questions and other steps, one of them similar to Tosis' second question. And Ramban, in essence, says, that the Swara of Rabbah, we called it reinterpretation. The simple mashmos of the words Shalvasi implies that you were there for a long time. But it's not such an absolute. You could fit this argument that it was there for one day into those words. That is also technically a Shalvasa. It's not usually how people use the phrase, at least certainly in this context. But it is possible. So now you have a dilemma. You have Edim who say it was Shalabosa Shavuve. But this guy has a Migui. A Migui is a certain degree of proof that I'm telling the truth. So if the Edim are telling the truth, and I'm telling the truth, how do you reconcile the truth? I'll tell you what. We'll reinterpret your words. When you said Shalabosai, you probably meant that your father was there one day. If you explicitly come back and say that, Moda Nardoi, everyone agrees it would work. But Rabbi says it works even without you explicitly making the argument. And perhaps you could even take it one step further and say, like Tosas Havavim, maybe he never even held that it's, it's Mashma Liola. It's a perfectly, it's either interpretation or reinterpretation. But either way, it will come out that Rabbah holds, Migo, he agrees in Shas, Migo Makamedim Lo Amrina. Over here it's different because there isn't necessarily a conflict between the Migo and the Ed. However, when we get to Daf Lama Gimel on the base, we have what appears to be uh, pretty much the exact same Gemara, and that raises some eyebrows. But we don't have any, sorry, we we'll have to stay focused. It says, Ze Omar Shel Avosi, Ze Omar Shel Avosi, Hai Aisi Sadi Davosi, this guy brings witnesses it was his father's, Hai Aisi Sadi Davosi, Hai Aisi Sadi Davosi, Hai brings witnesses that it was he ate the years of Chazaka. Omar Avhizda, Malal Shaker. You have a, that's similar to what Rabbah said in Lamed Aleph. And this time, you have a Baya and Rava. Rava joins. Let's take a look at the Rashbam over here. 
And we will see, I think, that's Masha from the Rashbam, that he's learning Pshat and Rabchizda, at least. And Marsha says he might agree about Rabba, but he's learning Pshat and Rabchizda, that it really is a Mika Mokamedin. It says, Hi, I see Sadabasi, he ad yom mosa. The Aiden testified belonged to Ruben's fathers till the day of their death. So don't give me your mechads. Don't give me that the, my father bought it from your father. The Aiden are clearly testifying that nobody bought it from them. Your father did not buy it from his father. Then he goes on to say, Why would he lie? He'll come. He could have said this. He didn't bother. Even though he's contradicting the Aiden, he's Mehaman. So he's stating again, you're contradicting the Aiden, and despite that fact, you are Nemo. And if you haven't had enough, then continuing the next R- Rashbam, who is explaining Abai and Rava, Mali the Shakra Mokam Edim Lo Amrina, Klomar, Kol Taina Sha Adam Tomein Kigon Zeh. Any Taina like this, Sha Amr Shalavosi, but Ata Rasa the Kai Mali the Mali the Shakra, and you're trying to hold it up, establish it on the, because of the basis of a Migur. And this time it contradicts witnesses. As in this case, we don't believe it. The Aedim testified that your time is false. How could you possibly establish it? Of course you're lying. You're against witnesses. And therefore the Chazaka doesn't help you. Chazaka has to have a taina. Your taina has been disproved, so you have no taina. Now, if we were to suggest, as the Ramban says, and probably Tosas holds, that the Swar of Rab is reinterpretation, and we were to argue that Rab is also reinterpretation, then this Rashbam misses the entire point. You made a whole speech. You want to be Mekayim, your statement. But you're fighting Aden. So the Aden are saying that you're Vadei Sheker. So you can't believe these guys. They're Vadei Sheker. That's very true. And Rav Chizah agrees with that also. Rav Chizah says, we reinterpret the words of the, of the Baal Dover, that when he said Shalav Balsa, he meant, uh, one of my father bought from your father. You don't agree with that reinterpretation? You're entitled. Why are you give me a whole speech that Aden beat, beat me good? Of course Aden beats me good. Rav Chizah also holds Aden beats me good if you're learning like the Rambam. So it seems to me that it's mashma in the Rashbam that it's not reinterpretation. Rav is saying what it sounds like he's saying. It sounds like he's saying is that the Migui could defeat Eden. Says Rambam, Tmil Mil Satuba. How could that possibly be? How could Migui possibly beat Eden? Just in the interest of honesty, uh, but we're not, we don't have time to get into it. There happens to be a Shadis and Shubha Shavaki Vegar, Madura Shbasra, Sim Kuchlamid, that says Pshat and the Rashbam that it is reinterpretation. He, co- he comes up with a Dolchik Pshat, Afra the Makshule Eide Mehema. He says it means nearer to Makshule Eide Mehema. He doesn't address how he deals with the next Rashbam. And he has a way. Uh, however, we felt in Blackshare, you know, we proved pretty conclusively that the Marshal did not learn that way. That the Marshal learned Rashbam Kimashmos. I told the Chevron, and the Shir, if any one of you guys would have tried that Mahalach, I would have blasted you, but Ricky Vega, okay? <laughs> Can't do anything about that. But the Marshal <coughs> learns <coughs> conventional reading, and I'd like to offer an interpretation according to the conventional reading of the, of the Rashbam. So we have a Shalis and Chubas Marshach. Marshach's case is um, there's a halacha, Radan Shulchan Aruch says as follows If a person enters somebody else's house without permission, 
And Adim saw him go into the house, and they saw him leave the house, but there was no evidence that he took anything. And the owner of the house says, I have stuff that disappeared, you're a Ghana. The guy is Potter. You can't accuse me of being a Ghana just because he trespassed, just because he went into the house without the shows. However, if he entered the house and he appears to be hiding something under his coat, there's something bulging there, it looks like he took something out, but they can't identify what it was, then the Balabais is never to say that you stole. He's never to say what you stole, although he has to swear, and then you have to pay. So that's the halacha. So the question comes up, what happens if this fellow <coughs> denies what the Adam said? The Adam said, we saw you enter the house, we saw it, we didn't see, we have no evidence you took anything, but we did see you enter the house. And the guy comes and says, I never stepped foot in that house. So there's Deus, brought down in the Shulchan Aruch, that he has to pay. Why? Because he's a Huxa Kafram. Since he said he did not enter the house, and that has been contradicted by witnesses, <coughs> so he's been shown to be a liar <coughs> regarding this case. And the halacha is, anybody who lied about this particular case is no longer believed in anything he says about this case. He might be believed in other cases. He doesn't come puzzle. But he's a hooks of kafir. So now this guy says that you stole from me. He says, I didn't steal from you. You're not believed. Because we already caught you on a lie. The Adam contradicted you. So uh, the Marashat goes through a rather, uh, you know, a, a discourse on a possible interpretation there's a concept in halacha that there are certain things that, that it's acceptable for a person to forget. Things that you don't have to pay such attention to. So he might have forgotten that he entered the house. But then he says, and this is what I'm interested in, the second column, there's a little arrow here to put there. The yira l'fiyaniyazdaiti, l'chalik b'ofenache. It appears to me to make a different chiluk. The lomer and to say, you cannot, and don't forget, we paskin, whatever Rav Chizda said, we paskin like a buy and rubber, Migamedim Lam Rinan. But Afal Pike, over here, we wouldn't say Migamakamedim Lam Rinan. The Mai da Amrinan be Alma, Mali the Shakar Makamedim Lam Rinan. Hainu Hechesha Edim Mechaiv and Mamma Beidusan. That's when the testimony of the Edim are Mechaiv you money. You can't be believing the Migu contradicting the Eidim or Mechai of you. When you're contradicting the Eidim, the Eidim are not Mechai of you money yet. I think that you should be believed. It's not a problem with Migu Mechai Eidim. The law of Rina and Lachziko Kafran. He doesn't become a hooks of kafir, either of them. He has a migo, he could have said, I didn't take anything. He said, I never entered the house. He's believed, and not the Edom. And he's not a min hafzik and kafir, not kashaso, afir sheti al-chashem, also the ramila. Even if it is something that we, he has no excuse for forgetting. So what's going on? What does that mean? A dayan lo chayv mama. What's the difference? You're still fighting the Edom. So I have a yesod, the people in the Chavaz Chaim in Queens, most of the yeshiva knows this, because I talk about it all the time, it comes up in many sugyas. Yesod Gadol Lanius Daiti in Hilchas Edus. Edus is not naturally Nema. We don't believe two Edim because we have some kind of svara that two Edim are probably telling the truth. Al Pisfara, Lahabdil, in the Gaiyashir world, they also have Edom. But what do they do? The judge or the jury decides whether you trust the Edom or not. Some Edom are more trustworthy than others. There's no natural Nemanus. The mushal I give is supposing you had two cups of water on the table, and one of them had poison in it. Some thug is pointing a gun to your head and says, You have to drink one of those cups. Two Kusher Edom come in and say, the poison is in the cup on the left-hand side. Your father comes and tells you, the poison is in the cup on your right-hand side. So what are you going to say? Al-pishnayim edim yakum davar. 
So two items said it was on the left hand side. And my father is an Eidech, and not only that, he's Karo, he's Pasal Eidus. <laughs> so I have to follow the two Eidech. Not true. It depends on your relationship with your father. <laughs> <laughs> Use your seichel. So what is Eidus? If you're going to run a legal system, it's impossible for courts and judges to know what actually happened. You can't be in all places at all times. So you have to have a system that makes some sense. So the system that the Torah made was two Eidus. Once we have that system, two Eidus have the ultimate memonis. Trey Kamea, they could do everything, they could give Misa, Moti Mama. But it's only because we need to have a legal system in order to paskin halachas. So what if the Adam aren't paskining halach? There's no particular reason why they're Nema. Amigo, on the other hand, <coughs> is a logic. Amigo has nothing to do with paskining halachas. If you're conducting business with somebody and he tells you something and you realize he has Amigo, that might be a compelling argument to believe him. Nothing to do with halacha. It's logical. So says the Marshach, Avada migu makamedim lo amrina. And anybody were to come and tell you, migu makamedim lo amrina, tamili mil satuva. However, when the Adim say you enter the house, that doesn't pass in any halachas. Entering the house doesn't do anything. It only sets the stage that if you walked out of the house with something under your coat, then we would have halacha. That's not what happened here. We have no ages that you walked out of the house with something under your coat. So it didn't pass in any halacha. You come and say, I didn't enter the house. Who are you fighting? You are fighting two gentlemen who maybe one day will be Aiden. But they're not Aiden right now. <laughs> Because what they said, that has no halakhic nafkamina. Adai lo mama. So you have a migui. If you have a migui, there's a logic to believe you. There's no particular reason to believe the Aiden. So mimela, there's no din of migu makamedin lo That's, I think, the story of the marshal. So migu makamedin amrina. So how does that help us on Daflam again? Well, here it is no ge'ala. And to tell you the truth, it better not be the same as Daflam and Gimel, because on Daflam and Gimel, we pass can be going in lower meaning. Yes, there's a Rav Tizda, but we pass like a Bayan Rabba. So it seems to me that there's room to say an in between level. Now again, based on this premise, Adim are not automatically Adim. Adim are Adim if and when they pass in Allah. And if Adim are giving you interesting background information, and now we're trying to decide whether this guy's a liar or not. He is perfectly within his rights to be believed with Amigo. What happens in the case of, the, of our case? Zeh Omer Shalavasai and the other guy has Shnei Chazasha. In order for the Avasai person, was he Reuven or Shem? I think he was Reuven. In order for Reuven to win, so Reuven has witnesses that it was his father's, Shimon has Shnei Chazaka. <coughs> what would happen if Shimon said, you know what? It was your father's, but I bought it from you three years ago. That's why I've been sitting here for three years without a peep. You never said a word. Clearly, I bought it from you. He'd be believed. What if Shimon said, what are you talking about it belonged to your father? It belonged to my father. I inherited from him. And Ruben didn't have any witnesses. Shimon would win. There are two ways that Shimon could win. He could win if he could be believed to say it belonged to my father. He could win if he could be believed to say, I bought it from you. So I have Aiden that say, Reuben has Aiden that says it didn't belong to your father. That doesn't mean that the field belongs to Reuben. It's possible that Shimon bought it from him. Okay, it happens to be that Shimon admitted they didn't buy it from him. Ah, that's true. So you put those two pieces of information together, and now you have a chiyav moment. It's not quite the same as the marshaf. The marshaf entering the house 
never is Mechayev Yomom by itself. It's only background information, and it's never part of the Mechayev Mama. If you were able to steal without entering the house, you stick in the, you know, people do that, their case, and they stick in the thing and take something out of the house without ever entering the house. It's also good. It didn't have anything to do with the Mama. Here, it is part of the Chayev Mama, but there's a Tziruf. There's a combination. There's two in Yanim here. Shalabosai, and there was no sale. So I believe that it's quite possible one could say, according to the Rashbam, that the machlokis between Rav Chiz and Abaya and Rav is how do you view such a scenario? Abaya and Rav say, okay, fine, but both pieces of information <coughs> exist at the same time, so they didn't have a partner. Good. So I'm a chayv mamun with a partner. But I'm still no gel alocha. I'm telling you, Psak Halacha is not Dhamma to the Marshak's case. 100%. Amar believe. Rav Chizda says that's a step in Havana, in Lambdas. Something has to happen. You have to talk about the father, you talk about the sale, and you have to join them together. So he views that in Lambdas as a two step process. On step one, before you join together, you're not an aid yet. But the Migu is there. Migu is a logic. Migu starts. We don't find out about it until later, but once we know there's a Migu, it was there all along. <coughs> Migu is the logic. Logic doesn't take any time. It's not a step. It's a reality. So there's a logic that says that I am telling the truth. When I say it belonged to my father, you have two wonderful gentlemen who are saying that belonged to Rubain's father, but before they get a chance to graduate, into the status of Edom, my Miga destroys them. So once we understand the Yisod, that Edom are not automatically Edom, in order to be stamped with the Hashivas, the value, the power, the Nemanus of Edom, you have to paskin the Shaila. So have you paskin the Shaila by saying Shalavosai? Very nice. You, you, you taught some interesting history lessons. Right? That's nice to know. But, didn't pass it anything. No, but, but he didn't say Lokachti. He admitted that he didn't buy it. Okay, that's that. That's not you. But I'll join together. If you take my Aedas, plus you take his Odah, and his Odah isn't the of him either. Plus you take, it, it contributes to the, to the Chiyas. And you put them together, then it's Mechai and Mama. So Abai Rav said, well, that's it. They, they join together. They are together. That's a natural, automatic process. He says, Rav Chizna, no, that's a lumdis. That's a step. It has to happen. Before it happens, <coughs> Migu gets in first. And Migu says, you're, 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 you're not. Let's say he didn't have a Migu. Then it would work. Because nothing knocking out these two gentlemen. <coughs> And there's Hodah's Baal, and then they join together, and then you have Hodah's Hades. So it comes out, the Linnaeus Daiti, that Pshad and the Rash Avada, he's telling you that Migrid defeats Hades. But not Stamazoi, Migrid defeats Hades. Right? If you have a situation where Hades are made on something, and it's not a two step process, there's no way Migrid's going to defeat the Hades. Hades is 100%. For example, uh, all right, we better not get too sidetracked. But so, so you have cases where Migui, where it's a fit, but here, where, where it's a two step process, it could be, that's why the Rajbam struggles a little bit. When he explains the Bayan Rava, he starts with a Klomar. Klomar always usually means that there's something that is a little bit not, not so glut, you know, you have to tighten it up a little bit. What did you just say? You know, every time you have a migrant fighting Adam, the Adam win. You want to be Makayim the Taina, and there's Madishakir, and there's Makeshes Adam, Kihacha. This is really different than classic Migu Makam Classic Migu Makam is a direct war, a direct battle. Of course, Migu loses. But I'm saying even if it's not so direct, but it is considered direct, because you're trying to be Makai in my statement, and you're trying to be Makai in his statement. And his is Ali Migu, mine is Ali Migu, his is Ali Day Aden. 
So therefore, it's a miyakam edim, but it's not just a simple, simplistic, straightforward miyakam edim. And Mela, I think we can understand the machlokas, Rav Chizna and Bavirava, without violating the Tmiyali Milsa Tuva.